So this is our ninth training trip that we've done with the men and women together. And a new spot for the, uh, for the athletes, the Justice Aquatic Center, which it was originally called back in the 1980s, uh, hosted many national level meets and Olympic trials. With the swimmers, we had five lanes of 50 meter pool in the morning swims, the morning practices, and in the afternoon we had 10 lanes. And then with Coach Bolstead and diving, she had four one meter boards, and she had four three meter boards. We trained harder at this training trip right now. We were just at a greater point, better point than last year for sure. And I think these upcoming meets are gonna be great, they're gonna be amazing. We're gonna get some really fast times. And this is really exciting because like we're getting a lot of practice for our MAC championships and we have I think like five or four meets up um, coming next and that's just great practice for our MAC championships. We're leading into Southern Connecticut. It's always a really good meet for swimmers and divers because we just be came out of training trip and we just came out of a time of doing so many of our dives over and over again. We all feel really confident going into it because we've been working so hard. These last couple meets are kind of a practice for when we go into max and ECACs and zones. So it's kind of like a dress rehearsal. Well, this is more or less our out of conference competition schedule. So we start, as you said, with Southern Connecticut State, which in years past has been a top 10 division two swimming and diving program nationally. And then we have three outstanding schools in Boston College of the ACC. We have Seton Hall of the Big East and we have SUNY Binghamton of the American East. So they'll be outstanding competition.